Tonight, the debate over veterinary marijuana, cannabis to treat health problems in your pet. As Denver 7's Molly Hendrickson shows us, this industry is so new, there have been no scientific studies to know if it's safe or even works until now. Meet Tucker. The nine-year-old Entelbooker is well known at CSU for his enthusiastic greetings and affinity for treats. There we go. He's also one of the dogs Dr. Felix Durr and his team hope will give them a better understanding of how effective CBD, the non-psychoactive cannabis compound found in marijuana plants, is in treating arthritis and epilepsy. Our question is, does CBD help with this problem? And is there an improvement on all the outcome measures that we use? The budding industry promises to treat everything from anxiety to pain management. But like anything involving cannabis, the legal waters of how the drug is being used remain murky. It is, to some degree, a federal crime right now um, to prescribe this. Now there's there's lots of gray zones. Still, many vets already prescribe CBD with a very low THC dose, skirting any potential legal consequences. Regardless, pet owners are coming to this center at CSU, hoping to get treatment for their best friend. The discussion of CBD use in pets is nothing new. Testimonials from vets appear on the American Veterinary Medical Association website claiming success in treating pain, but also the need for responsible dosing and more research. And that's where Dr. Durr comes in. We need to make sure that there is no problems that can happen when you give this to your dog. In Tucker's case. So he has right elbow arthritis. And it went really quickly from limping one day to two months later not wanting to go on any more walks or anything. His owner, Jackie Chashovsky, watched arthritis steal parts of his life for the last two years. We gave him some uh, Rimado and some glucosamine and things like that, but nothing really worked. Desperate for a fix, she turned to Dr. Durr and his team. Thought it would be worth a try since nothing was working for him. He's been treating Tucker for three months, giving him an oil containing CBD and an oil without it. Jackie doesn't know the results of the study yet, but already she's a believer. Yes, I'm convinced. 100% convinced for him it's working. So much so, she's continued him on CBD treatment. It's a different strength of what he was getting here for the study, but he's still on the CBD. It's from the same company. and and he gets it twice a day, every day. Dr. Durr and his team are hopeful, but say pet owners should remain cautious if considering CBD for their dogs. There's not enough information for us to feel confident and say, yes, that, that's great, you should give this to your dog. Molly Hendrickson, Denver 7. And CSU researchers are also looking at the effects of CBD in treating epilepsy. Now, CBD oil doesn't get your pet high because it contains such a small amount of THC. Now, THC is actually toxic yeah. to pets. The study's findings will be out in about a year.